Hey everyone, CC here once again for another art journaling project. And today I have a very quick page to show you. I'll be working on a cleanup page. A cleanup page is where I put remnant paints or whatever I'm working on, whatever I have, I have left over. And these were stamps um, that I used in a different project. And they are Ellen Vargo's Paper Artsy stamps. I absolutely love them, but there was a lot of stamps there and I, for a long time, didn't know quite what to do with them. So, and then I got a hold of these Color Bursts by Ken Oliver Crafts. These are so much fun, oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are straight up pigments. Pigment, so pigment is color in a powdered form. This is almost pure and I decided to add them on a wet surface and because these stamps were originally uh, used with jet black archival ink I knew they wouldn't move on my page so you can either brush on the water on your page or if you're impatient like me and you want to do it quickly you just spray and uh, there I'm demonstrating how you're supposed to do it with a brush which I'm sure everybody can figure it out um, and originally, I do apologize, this video was supposed to be with live audio and I listened to it and there was a lot of traffic in the background, so I decided to do a voiceover. So that's why you're going to see me do a lot of hand gestures, don't pay attention to that. So, to get back to the powders. <laughs> um, you really don't need a lot, a little goes a long way and already on my page, I am putting too much. This was my test to do a video for the store. So I'm really experimenting here and showing you my, the results of my experiment. So uh, please, please, please do not squeeze the bottle <laughs> unless the bottle is almost empty. Um, and that might take a while because that powder a little goes a long way and you just have to either tap the bottom of the bottle or just like shape the bottle a little bit over your area, over the area that you want to add it to and the powder will come out. Uh, that dark spot there that I'm diluting with water is way too dark. And if and if you miss any of these spots, they will dry, uh, they will kind of like cake and become like dark brown, which is, you know, it's a waste. It's a waste of powder and it's not really pretty. Um, so I don't know why I'm persisting on adding more pigment <laughs> like you're seeing here, because I do have a lot on my page and enough now the one main thing that i love about this the color burst is that they dry as vibrant as they look when they're wet i kid you not most watercolor media that i have tried they tend to dry lighter not this one this one is awesome so and you i will show you at the end another color which is a cleanup of um, the project that I was doing for the store and you'll see how vibrant that color gets. Oh yeah, look at that. These are dry and they are totally, totally awesome and vibrant. Um, like I said earlier, that was a nice surprise. I was not expecting that. Took me a while to figure out what I was gonna do and I decided to over stamp using the same stamps that I did in the background. Now, what I'm doing right now with the permaball pen is totally useless at this point. I'm going to do that step later on, but I left that in to show you that um, you got to go through some motions and then backtrack. 
<laughs> in order to find your groove. So that's exactly what it was. Color bursts are not permanent, even when they're dry. So if I were to add a wet media over that for even for coloring, like I'm doing right now, I would, I would have moved uh, the color and I didn't want to do that. So I switched to pastel pencils by Faber Castell. And the cool thing about those is that I can still blend them so I can get a nice gradient, some depth. And also it's, uh, bringing forth <laughs> the texture of the watercolor paper, which is a cool thing to do. I like, I like texture, I like depth, but in this particular book, I don't wanna add too much height to the pages. I want my book to lay flat. So this is a great way to add texture without adding any dimension. I'm going over the stamped images, just the ones that I have colored with a pit artist pen. This is the big brush in black and it's a wet media, but because it's black, even if I move the colors underneath, it's not going to show. And now I can add my sketchy lines. I love the contrast between good crisp lines and sketchy lines. It adds interest and well, I'm the boss of that page, so I do whatever I want, really. <laughs> but I also like black against a good crisp co color, or even white for that matter. Anything that gives me contrast uh, makes me happy. I started adding my quote with stickers that didn't stick too well so I decided to print it on my printer and so what I did is I selected a font and then two different alignments because I wasn't sure which one I liked printed it and then I took pattern paper and laid it over the one the alignment or the text that I liked and secured that with washi tape and run it again through my machine and it printed exactly where I wanted it to be so I love that trick and I'm just highlighting the quote with some more color from the pastel and that's it. Now that quote was inspired by something my brother said that afternoon. I had a long conversation with him about art and he said something in French along the lines of un artiste qui dure a la tête dans les nuages et les pieds sur terre. So I translated this the best I could if there are syntax errors or grammatical errors. I don't think there are any grammatical errors per se, but um, I do apologize and I kind of don't care either. <laughs> it's in my book. Like I said, I'm the boss. I can do whatever I want. And I love, love, love that saying. So all in all, such a fun page to do, not with, without effort, uh, because the background which started out as being if we're being honest, garbage, because I was cleaning off some stamp, ended up inspiring me to do this awesome page. So don't discard your leftover pages or your bits and pieces that, you know, your cleanup papers, your under paper, whatever you want to call them. You can create something fun and it just gets you into the groove 
to create more. Like when I'm out of inspiration, I look for these cleanup papers or under papers and they never fail to inspire me. And my page is done. Now I do have another page I want to work on in this book. This big giant blob of eyelet was left over from the project that I did for Scrapbook Central. And I also was able to colorize 10 more tags with this. So when I say don't go crazy, don't go crazy. Use it up wisely. It's, it's nice pigment. Don't waste it. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. You can also find me on all my social medias and they are listed in the description box. As usual, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will see, see you later. Bye.